All right. Guess what time it is? It's time for you to freaking listen to me to talk. That's what time it is. Now, it is SHOT Show time again, the shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show. We told you we were going to do it. We weren't lying, and that's what we're doing. It is 2023. Last year was kind of a strange year. Um, the city of Las Vegas and the state of Nevada decided that they wanted to be not smart people <laughs> and impose not smart pandemic stuff on people. So a lot of our industry did not come last year. Uh, and the year before that, we just canceled it outright. So Zach and I were here in 2020, exactly three years ago. And then the year after that, there wasn't one. And then last year was kind of a, eh. So here we are. Here we are. And uh, we are coming to you live, semi-live, from the tower of the, the Venetian Tower. We're coming to you from the Venetian Tower and the Venetian Hotel and the Sands Convention Center. The Sands Convention Center in the Venetian slash Palazzo. If you know your Las Vegas geography, if you know your Las Vegas geography, then... Uh, you'll know the how we are and what we're set up. And it doesn't really matter. That doesn't matter. What matters is that we're here and that you're listening. So we're going to, uh, we, we've set up our portable studio. And if it doesn't sound correct to you, then, well, I don't know what to tell you. Is that, Jared, say something to the audience so they can hear your voice. I'm going to say something to the audience. Hello, guys. This is Jared. I'm the co-host here at Students of the Gun Radio. That is true. That is true. So uh, without further ado, Zach's going to play the music. He's right here in the studio with us, and we're going to get on with it. From the student of the gun radio, planting freedom seeds since 2013. This show is proudly brought to you from the SDS Imports studio. If you want quality that's affordable, visit sdsimports.com. Here we don't just talk about guns and gear. We also discuss current events and politics, because guns are politics. Now, sit back, relax, and allow today's episode to drip ever so gently into your ear. Please welcome your co-hosts, founder of Mastermind Media and Consulting Group, Jared Markle, and the shipping ogre, Zach Markle. Now, give it up for your beloved host, the Pimp Hand of America, Professor Paul Markle. Yes, indeed. That's who I am, and that's what I do, and I'm Pimp Handed all over Las Vegas right now. And we're going to start out with the uh, uh, well discussion of, of day one. We're right at the end of our first day of SHOT Show 2023. And we had a, a, a busy day, a productive day. Got to see a lot of people because that's the main reason we're here. The primary people are like, oh, what's new and cool at shot, man? Um, I'm sure there's a lot of guitar stuff. picks. Yeah, guitar picks. Uh, but uh, and it's interesting that that other people, you know, the, the great minds think alike. So they say that great minds think alike. We were just down at the Caltech booth with our buddy uh, Marty Left Hand from Left Hand Marty, also known as Buck Daniels Country Music Sensation from Talking Lead, and we did a little thing with him. We did a, a Firearms Radio Network OG original gangster podcast. It and involved pineapples. Yeah, yeah. If you guys haven't listened to it, you should. You should listen to it, our buddy over there. Uh, but uh, yeah, Marty gave us he he gifted us guitar picks, which I really appreciate because, well, uh, I'm a guitar guy. And we, for this show, we also had a, uh, a special, special edition logoed student of the gun guitar pick made up to give out to our friends and, and uh, well, family and so forth here at the show. So that was kind of cool. But all right, let's get into it. The beginning. All right, start at the beginning. If there are any leftover... Of the guitar picks, I'm just plopping this on Zach's lap. So this is going to happen. <laughs> if there are any left over after the show, any orders that are in the queue from shopsotg.com will have guitar picks placed in them. So if you order first now, come first serve, yep, limited edition. If you go there and we order now, then it'll be in the queue for the shipping ogre when he returns, and he'll get he'll touch your package and put a guitar pick in it. <laughs> and we've got special shot show guitar picks. There you go. There I was just reading go. the notes that he was putting in there because he 
Yeah. I just drop uh, plop that in his lap, so he's got to remember to do it. <laughs> Zach did a thing this morning. He added us to, to yet one more socialist media page because you, you guys are out there and you're like, there aren't enough. Well, there's another one, and it's called Gun Space. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have a microphone. Yeah, so he can't tell us. We only have two microphones, so Zach doesn't get to talk. Student of the Gun is now on Gun Space. Gun Space. And it's not socialist it's media. It's not socialist media. It's it's Smiley two Face D. So. Make us the most followed page on that, please. That You should. Yeah. You're like, you. What is the, it, is the it gun st- space people should come to us and say, what the F? Studentofthegun.com slash gun space. So that just happened. Studentofthegun.com slash gun space. We're going to make that happen. We can make it happen because we have the technology. We do. Uh, let's go ahead. If you're ready, uh, Zach, or you will be ready. Uh, we don't have questions and answers today because we're not um, on Discord because we're in a hotel room. And we have a portable studio set up. So that's, I have a lot of questions. You have a lot of questions. Yeah. You have a lot of questions that need to be answered? Yes. Okay. We'll see if we can get you help for that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into our Duracoat Finish Firearms segment. But if, before that, we bef- want to make sure that people know there are direct links to the uh, Student of the Gun on Gun Space in the notes. So if you click on the picture on whatever platform you're looking on, and most of the platforms will pull up the notes, and you'll be able to see them in there. Yeah. You can go to the links. You can always do that. You yeah. should be a smart listener. Yeah, studentofthegun.com slash gunspace is right there in the notes. All right, all right, all right. We were down at the... Uh, at the Duracoat booth on the floor today, talking to our good friends, all our friends at Duracoat. And Bert, if, you, if you're if you not listening right now, you should be. You know who you are, Bert. You should be listening to this on the speakers in the shop. <laughs> but <laughs> they had something cool for the show. We've been talking about this for how long? How long ago, Jared, did we... Talk about uh, life is too short to have an ugly gun. Duracoat, because life is too short to have an ugly gun. Oh, for a long time. A long time. Many, many long times ago. Uh, Duracoat's been with us, I would say, since basically the beginning. Since we uh, almost the, the very beginning of Student of the Gun uh, radio. So, uh, so you guys should be showing them some love. But they came up. We, we, we. Many, many years ago, if you guys are old school guys, you know Durko because life is too short to have an ugly gun. And, uh, well, that's, that's, that's too long for a sticker, right? <laughs> so what they did uh, is we kind of we put all our collective brains together and they came up with a no ugly guns sticker that they're giving out at the show this year. So if you see them, they came from the SHOT Show 2023. It says no ugly guns because, hey, that... That's what it's all about, right? It's all about not having ugly guns. If you don't want to have an ugly gun, go to DuracoatFirearmFinishes.com and tell them the student of the gun sent you. And uh, also, if you'd like to be one of those people out there in the audience that helps people, helps your friends, neighbors, coworkers, or strangers, for that matter, if you'd like to help other people in the world not have ugly guns, Zach, or Jared, I'm sorry, not Zach, you, you can't talk. Jared, if they want to help people not have ugly guns, what can they do? Where can they go? Duracoat Fire and Finishes.com. Yeah, to the Duracoat University. Yeah. So if you go to, they have an online distance oh, learning university. if you university. want to go directly to it, you can go to studentofthegun.com slash Duracoat. Yes. And get you directly to the university. And you can be that guy in your neighborhood, in your city, in your village. Uh, you can be that guy that helps people not have ugly guns. And as an added benefit, if you're good at it, uh, you can put some extra Republic credits in your account there and build up your Republic credits and you'll be a happy camper. So make sure that uh, you're checking those guys out. Make sure that if you do support them or you purchase from them, that you let them know that we sent you. There you go. It's, It's pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So no hashtag, no ugly guns. 
Uh, it's a new sticker, and if you see them around the interwebs, then that's why. That's why they're there. Uh, we went down to the, the level one. We'll call it level one. We colloquially, <laughs> locally, it's known as the basement. Uh, but, you know, if you want to be nice, it's level one, the first floor of the uh, SHOT Show, of the, of the Sands Convention Center. And we saw our buddies at SDS Imports. SDS Imports is the, they're the central conglomerate. They, they bring everyone together. They have several brands. They have the Takarov brand. They have the TSOS brand. And now, just launched, because I walked into the booth, I was like, hey, that's new. I said, is that new? And they're like, yeah, that's new. I'm like, okay, so I wasn't missing out. And they're like, no, you're not missing out. It's new. The MAC, the Military Armament Corporation, brand mac brand and that is from uh the uh, the good folks at uh, at sds imports they're bringing it all together if you guys are following them you should uh, you'll you'll see it they actually have some pretty neat stuff they have a uh an mac 1911 and now what did you, jared did you get the full scoop about the goodies they've got a shotgun they've got shotguns under the mac brand Actually, they have really nice hardwood stock shotguns. So if you're into the traditional hardwood stock shotguns, they've got those uh, 1911s. And they had a a pretty good look. And you, if you guys know, remember the Fairbarn Sykes fighting knife or the, the Applegate Sykes fighting knife. If you remember that, the double-edged dagger kind of fighting knife, they've got one of those down in the booth. And what we should probably do is get down there tomorrow morning and do a little bit more in depth. Which don't you say? Wouldn't you say, Jared? Get a little bit more in depth on the on the MAC. Mm, yeah. But I wanted to just to hip you guys. They are they are the show sponsor and they're good friends. So make sure that uh, that you're checking their stuff out and that you let them know a student of the gun sent you. Now I will. I've got a confession. I've got another confession to make. I didn't get to the high point booth <laughs> before I came to the microphone. Uh, you guys like my my uh, Dave Grohl Foo Fighters impression there? Yeah, there you go. It's pretty good. Yeah. So, no, uh, we're, we're actually going to get down there tomorrow morning. Uh, you're like, well, how come you didn't go today, you, you dummy? Like, because <laughs> anybody who doesn't know. Yeah. Like, well, it's just they're all in the same room. <laughs> it's a big room. The, it's actually it's, they're all not in the same room. There's many rooms, uh, but this was it's a big room. Uh, we can only see so many people and do so many things in one day. But uh, we're going to get down there, and we're going to get our hot little hands on that uh, the JXP 10 millimeter pistol tomorrow morning, and we'll have uh, we'll be able to report back to you on that. Chicks. Yes. Yes. The uh, uh, Juxi J U X X I dot com. Jared's going to tell you what's new with. Juxy. Studentofthegun.com slash Juxy. We've got some new videos up there, and anything that we get here on the show floor will be compiled, put into a video form, and that will be released on Juxy.com. What are you drinking? Uh, that is my BCAA. Oh, that looks like an interesting uh, liquid. Branch chain amino acids. You know drink. what those do? Those help you uh, break rebuild, down protein. And, rebuild muscle, yeah, and consume uh, protein. Yeah. So because I actually had the protein bar a little bit earlier yeah yeah look at you yeah so um yeah, so on there i can't remember what our latest video is i just i asked zach earlier and then i forgot you spaced out that's total space so all the video versions of this student of the gun radio are available there that's student of the gun.com slash juxi j-u-x-x-i and the uh the most recent video is the legion of michael yeah those and, of you that are not aware legion of michael is a show that is based upon what the distance, uh, the church security program. We came up with a Legion of Michael church security program training program about three or four years ago, about four years ago, uh, and it is available right now, legionmichael.com. And we do the podcast to support the show and to uh, basically encourage you and remind you and, and help you out there. So if uh, you are a person of faith and you would like to know better how to defend and protect and secure your church and house of worship, Go to legionofmichael.com. Yes. And the great thing about Juxy, just to get on the Juxy, to stay on the Juxy train, is that we don't get nasty little, little P 
pissy letters, little pissy emails from Juxy telling us that we violated their community standards for some ungodly reason for a video that we posted two years ago, and now we're going to be punished for it like some other scumbag platform does. <laughs> mm-hmm. Who would that be, Paul? Oh, you know, I don't know. Who would that scumbag platform be? All right, it's time for me to be quiet, and all you new listeners, perk up your freaking ears and listen louder. Attention new listeners. We produced a complimentary online training course called Seven Training Tips That Could Save Your Life. Get instant access by joining the Student Lounge for free at studentofthegun.com. Do you watch Student of the Gun TV, read the blog, and follow us on Facebook? If you answered no to any of these questions, you are wrong, but you can easily fix yourself. Go to studentofthegun.com to find everything SOTG. Oh, yes. All right. It is time for a Brownells Bullet Points brought to you by Brownells. Bump it up, bump bum. Bump it up, bump bum. And as soon as uh, Zach cues up the music, we'll play the music. And that'll be fun. That'll be a fun thing. For yeah, us. they've got the. Uh, well, I'll wait Well, don't to talk, talk about, about it yet. Until... Don't talk about it yet. But. Uh, oh. Indeed. Store plug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you know anything about trade shows, if you've ever been to a trade show or a convention, you will know that uh, you're like, oh, man, it's it's all you guys do is you go out there and party with your friends, and yet I wish I could do that. Oh. Well, it's good to see your friends. It's good to see people that you only get to see once a year. That is good. That's a positive. That's a big benefit. But you are on your feet, moving, walking, standing all day. And if you can get to an open chair you you really don't if you've never done a convention or a a trade show you don't appreciate the how nice it is to have an open chair a place to rest a place to recharge your batteries real quick and what brownells did for the attendees of the shot show this year is they sponsored a lounge area a a rest area if you will and uh, they, they dedicated a large swath of the show floor, and they put tables and chairs into that so that weary travelers, <laughs> which I was one, I am one, so that weary travelers could go and they could sit down and take a load off. So thank you very much, Chew Brownells, for doing that. Would you not concur, Jared? Yeah, I was just, I thought you were going to ask me if I was done checking my grinder account. <laughs> it's a family friendly area. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Pineapple. Uh, yeah, but those of you, we, anybody that walks the floor of the shot show should and probably does appreciate a good lounge area. Uh, I know that if, uh, as we were walking through the Glock booth today, we were trying to get somewhere and we walked through this booth that had really thick carpet padding. And I was like, oh, this is great. And then I realized it was a Glock booth. I said, we need to walk slower. Yeah. And then it happened, just so happened that our uh, our buddy Bob, he was giving a pep talk to his, his people there. That's right. So we were, were able to slowly walk over to him and say hello. So it was nice. So you guys want to hear something crazy? No. Yeah, you do. All right. How, how many old school people in my audience? What if you're an mean? old school person. Just find old school. Uh, and you know anything about gun sight. There is a there is a gun that people there is one handgun one firearm that people equate with the original American Pistol Institute API, and that is the 1911. Right, Jeff Cooper was photographed innumerable times shooting a 1911, holding a 1911, demonstrating a 1911. And why is that? Because that when Jeff was when he started the school, that was the pistol, that was the fighting pistol. On planet Earth. Because when Jeff started the American Pistol Institute and Gunsight Academy, there was no Glock. <laughs> there was no Smith & Wesson M&P. There was no Canic. There was no Bette. There was, it, was, it was either a High Power or a 1911 or a Luger or some form of revolver. And that, was, that was it. And when I, I Luger, I'm joking. But or some form of revolver. That was it. 
Well, we went into the Glock booth, and they are doing a collab. They're doing a collaboration, Glock and Gunsight. What? They're doing an official Gunsight Glock. Yes, I'm not kidding. No, it's actually a thing. Uh, it is a Glock G45. It has uh, several special unique features on it. And one of those unique features is it has a dedicated milled slide cut for the new Hollow Sun. Yeah, and you know what's crazy, Jared? We just talked about this about a, a month or two ago. For the new Hollow Sun, was it 502 closed emitter? Remember we talked about, we had that discussion about the but what Ken Hackathorn was talking about red dots on pistols and open emitter versus closed emitter and how things are changing and so forth. Well, the gun is going to come with from them a closed emitter hollow sun that that's a BFD. That's a big deal. Something that I don't know if a lot of people appreciate how big of a deal that is that it's going to come with that. And you know the other folks in the red dot market are like fuming. Yeah. yeah. Because, hey, it, the thing is, here's what we know. They work. Yeah. And they run. And they're durable. So uh, that's it. if you have not heard about that yet, then you've heard about it now. That is a new thing from Glock. It is a, it's the G45, which is a 9 millimeter. If you don't know what a G45 is, look it up. Uh, but it is a dedicated gun sight collaboration between Glock and gun sight. Uh, and that, I guess it was on a cover of a magazine. If any of you uh, are in uh, 1997 and you're reading magazines, if you go back in a time machine. I saw somebody reading a newspaper today. Well, oh, actual newspaper? Yeah. It, who was printing newspapers? Don't know. Oh. Uh, yeah, I went, you know, speaking of magazines, you, you know Smith's Grocery Store is owned by Kroger, right? Yeah. I was in a Smith's the other day with my wife, and I walked over to the magazine section area, the rack, and it was pretty small, and there were zero gun magazines, not one. I don't know if, if that's a Kroger thing or a Smith's thing or whatever, but, and it wasn't like we were in New York City or California. We were in, I was in Utah. So, yeah, that was, that was uh, I guess, a sign of the times. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Because there's still magazines. There are exist. still magazines. They exist. They're pointless, but they, <laughs> they exist. <laughs> That's like, hey, man, I've got a VCR, and they're st- they still are good. I'm like, I still have VCR tapes at home. Yeah. Sure you do. Uh, but anyway, that I just thought that was interesting. That was a, a kind of a cool thing that we saw here at Shot so far. All right, let's, uh, I, I guess it's time for our crossbreed holsters. Oh, no, we uh, haven't done the no? Shop SOTG thing yet. Oh, yeah, we got to do uh, Let Zach Talk. ShopSOTG.com is the perfect place to go if you are a student of the gun. Whether you want to expand your brain, increase your marksmanship, or help keep your family safe. All that, plus the Pimp Hand brands that you love. ShopSOTG.com has almost anything that an American patriot would want. Education, enlightenment, and entertainment, and we're open 24-7. Check out ShopSOTG.com today and see for yourself. Yes, that is what you should do. You should check out ShopSOTG.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, uh, you guys know that Crossbreed Holsters is a, a close sponsor of ours. Uh, speak, you know, in addition to Duracoat, Crossbreed has been there for us since basically the beginning. Uh, since, since we first launched it, we're, we're 10 years into this. And they've been with us for 10 years. And that means something. And uh, I, I truly appreciate them. And I hope that you guys appreciate them. Yeah, we, we, we paid for that music. We might as well use it. <laughs> Actually, we, we got some feedback on our socialist media accounts. Somebody said, I, you know, bought one of the crossbreed uh, chest rigs and I really like it. And, you know, some, some of my friends had chest rigs from other people and they were complaining about them, but he's like, mine was good to go. And I'm glad that you tell us that, you know, it'd be awesome if you'd tell 
them that. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you would tell them, hey, uh, student of the gun sent me, and uh, I want you to know that I bought one of your chest rigs or whatever, and that I'm very happy with it, they would probably be glad to hear from you. I was I just wondering, were. sitting over here wondering if Zach had told people about the the store deal, and then I realized that he doesn't have an actual microphone. Yeah, so he's <laughs> mute today. <laughs> which so what, which what, deal is the store deal? What he did for you guys is, since we're out of town, he put all of the digital content on sale right now at shopsotg.com. You can get 40% off of all of the original, I mean, awesome the digital, digital content. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Fantastic. Original, originally awesome. Originally awesome. Awesome. original. <laughs> Digital content. Now we have some more stuff where uh, we found some people that we're going to work with here to bring you more digital content. Yeah. So tra- uh, specifically related to training. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty inspired. I'm, I'm glad to be here, obviously. I mean, it should be obvious. It, this is a, it, it's a, a, a investment on our part. Uh, it's an investment in time. It's an investment in money. Because uh, believe it or not, hotel rooms aren't free. You're like, What? And in Vegas, food is not free. What? No, food's not free. Nothing's free. But it's it's good for us to be here because it gives us inspiration. It gives us a chance to talk with our, our good friends in the industry. And Crossbreed is one of those. They're good friends. And we're actually going to go spend some time with those guys this evening. But speaking of saving money, if you guys want to save money, jump your butt over to studentofthegun.com slash Crossbreed Holsters. And when you make a purchase from them, whether it's the Rogue. Oh, and congratulations to them for being the studentofthegun.com slash crossbreed. Yep, studentofthegun.com slash crossbreed. There we go. I fixed it for you. Um, and they have the Rogue, and the Rogue is the... What did they get an award for? It's the, the num- number one new holster or top new holster or something like that. I didn't know they got an award. Yeah, it was like they're, they're voted like the best new holster or number one holster or whatever. But it's the ROG, R-O-G-U-E, Rogue, like the, the Marvel superhero, uh, like the X-Men person. Uh, check those guys out. And when you make a purchase, use the promotional code SOTG and you will save some money. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at show notes on my phone here. So. so what have you seen? Is there any item that you've seen so far? I know it's only day one and we focus oh, yeah. on mostly people today, but is there an item that you've seen that interested, that piqued your interest today? Oh, uh, well, actually, I was, I was surprised to find out about the Glock. That was something I didn't know was going to happen. Um, the, I, 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 we saw a water purification filtration mm-hmm. system that we're very interested in. Yep. Uh, You'll we, be able to purchase that on shopsotg.com soon. Yeah, we went we went ahead and uh uh we visited a bunch of guys. We went uh visited a bunch of guys down on, on level 1. One of them was Mira Safety. Uh they've got uh gas masks or field protective masks and what have you. What else did Zach, what else did we see? We we talked to a lot of good people. A lot of good people today. And you're like, wow, he has so many good people. Can't even remember them. Huh? Um, the, there's going to be a, I don't know if this is public knowledge, so I don't want to give the company a name, but there's going to be, there's going to be a, uh, an American made helmet coming soon. Oh yeah. So 100% made that's... in the USA from yeah. HHV. Oh, I just said that I didn't know if it was oh. public, so I wasn't going to say the, Oh no, the they're, company. they're, well, they're, they're, they're making it public at the show. They are. Yeah, he, he, they're walking around telling everybody about it. Okay, perfect. So, so there we go. I actually uh, just thought about something that I saw that was really cool. There's, um, at ATN Night Vision, uh, ATN Night Vision Products has a their newest, latest thermal optic rifle scope that is crazy good. Uh, it's. I was actually uh, in the booth with somebody, and he said, it's, "He said like it's something that they would." that would look like in the movies. Like if, if you watched a movie and they did what was supposed to be thermal vision or whatever, it looks like that. It's super clear. We're, we're actually making manufacturers have come so far. I remember visiting, Oh, who was it? The, Oh, the insight technologies plant about 13, 14 years ago during the beginning of GWAT, 
and getting to hold and, and uh, use their, what was at the time, state-of-the-art thermal, their thermal imagers, which were running around $25,000. <laughs> what do so, they run now, do you know? In the in the couple thousand, oh, that's in good. the few there. So that's yeah, good. when, when I first... Change. Yeah, because because I didn't we there were no thermal imagers when I was active duty. We had like the ANPVS four and the ANPVS five, uh, and so I was in, in the beginning of GWAT. I I was at the Insight Technologies factory in New Hampshire, and they let us check them out. And yeah, it was like twenty five thousand dollars for a handheld thermal, and where we are now, it's just it's kind of amazing. There's more, there's more available to the American consumer now than ever has been. Uh, and the, the idea, well, not the idea, the, uh, what the advice I would give you is to take advantage of that. And I would, t- I would actually, I'm not telling you to panic buy, but I'm telling you to take advantage of things while things are available. Mm-hmm. Should we, shall I say, what about you? What did you see that uh, kind of tripped your interest? And we're just getting started. Yeah. the Well, the water thing, I think we already talked about that. Mm-hmm. The thing, the stuff from ATN, obviously the helmet, um, the bug assault guns. Bug assault has a oh, booth Oh, yeah. Here. Bug assault has a booth here. That is yeah. cool. I was happy to see that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, so, if- and, and actually there's, from my, uh, my digital technical experience, there are some e-commerce platforms here exhibiting at the show Mm -hmm. which tells me that they support our industry yeah which is fantastic so uh, i'll make sure i make my way over to their booths and and talk to them and figure out how we can we can do stuff together because that's a big deal a company exhibiting at the show is showing support for the industry and right Mm -hmm. now with all the crap that's going on in the world and the the mainstream media demonizing guns and whatnot it's a big statement for for somebody that's in the tech industry to be here exhibiting at the show. And that's something that I appreciate. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That is true. Oh, going back to the helmets and all right, you guys should know by now that the, the guys at hardhead veterans are buddies, uh, that we appreciate what they do and they make, well, they make helmets and they make bump gear, bump guards, and they make things to protect your noggin. And if you are out there and you are a person who, uh, wears a modern helmet or a modern bump guard, uh, you know that there's a, there are padding systems inside of those helmets. And what they have done at Hardhead Veterans is they come up with a, a padding system called the micro lattice. And if you've ever worn, if you're a vet, if you've ever worn a ballistic helmet that had the old school pads that would get all sweaty and crusty and nasty and stuff, this micro lattice is a game changer. It is a game changer because it's all polymer. You can, if it gets sweaty, you can pull it out and rinse it off and put it back in. Uh, it also allows airflow so that the thing's not just sitting on top of your head making you sweat. Uh, it's a good product, and you're like, well, that's cool, but I already have a helmet, and I don't want to buy another helmet. Here's the deal. You don't have to buy another helmet. If you have an over-the-ear or above-the-ear or even a Mitch helmet, um, if you have any a helmet, a ballistic helmet right now from anyone else that has one of the Velcroed-in removable padding systems, you can get their padding system and stick it in your helmet. So you don't have to buy a new helmet. But I tell you what, if you buy this new micro lattice, if you buy the micro lattice pads and put them in your helmet, the one you have now, the ballistic helmet you have, it's going to be like having a new helmet. You're going to be like, wow. You think, this, this is crazy. How did I live without this? So as take, take it from somebody who's worn helmets for 30-some years. Uh, I really, truly appreciate the difference uh, in that. So uh, that's something from Hardhead Veterans. So check those guys out. Oh, who else did we see? We saw our, our friends at our SDS. Friends at Cabot. Oh, Cabot Guns! I went down. We went down yeah. to the uh, level one. We saw uh, the guys at uh, at Rob and Mike from Cabot Guns. No, Matt Dorito's not here this year. Doctor Evil's not here either. Yeah, Doctor Evil's not here. Uh, but if if you want a 
really slick, nice uh, 1911 that runs. That they're the ones. They are the people that convinced James Yeager to to like and use a 1911. <laughs> Uh, C-A-B-O-T, Cabot Guns. Uh, check those guys out. They're good friends of ours. Those of you that that knew James, you uh, know for sure that convincing him anything was a good idea was a challenge. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He Maybe did, not a challenge. challenge he didn't just... Right it was a journey. It was a journey. Yeah, he, did, he didn't just change his mind just to be nice. Yeah. Yeah, you had to show him. He was. It was like he was from Missouri or something, you know? Yeah, that's funny. Like, show me. Show me. Ah, uh, what else? Oh, oh, USPS has a booth. Oh, United States Postal Service has a booth. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what. Uh, yeah, in the basement, we're like, they have like mailboxes on display. We're like, what? I don't know. Is that like, it's not, it can't be showing support for the industry. I don't know, because they don't ship guns, do they? No, not anymore. They yeah. used to. So I don't know. I have to stop by and see why they're here. Back in the old days, you could ship a gun in the postal, no problem. Yeah. I actually, in the olden days, had received guns in postal packages delivered by the mailman. Uh, they don't do it anymore, but they used to. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm stumped or not. Oh, we didn't talk about Marty and Caltech yet. We teased at oh, the very yeah, beginning. That's right. We uh, recorded a show with them. Yeah. About pineapples and stuff. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, if you want to know, if you want to know inside baseball, you got to go listen to that. We're not going to talk about that one. And now, as this is dropping tomorrow, so his show with us might not be out yet. Yeah, so you right. just have to wait with bated breath and just not be on the inside. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. We we student of the gun. Uh, we 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 joined. We first joined up with. You know, it was was it shot of thirteen or twelve. Well, thirteen is when it launched so it was in march of 13 it, which means that it was it was 13 january of 13 yeah it was yeah. january of 2013 that we sat down with the previous the then ceo or head of or pre, whatever of firearms radio Network. Yeah, he owned it and uh we we conceptualized student of the gun radio yeah. and he's like this is what i need from you this is the technical specs yeah, this is what you need to do and we did it we did it with a one microphone and, and a two channel board. Oh my gosh! Uh, and a MacBook Pro. Wait, and a MacBook Pro. I have that. I've been looking for shadow boxes. That if anybody listening right now has a uh, recommendation, if you have a recommendation for a shadow box that'll fit a MacBook Pro and a MacBook Air, two separate shadow boxes, that'd be awesome. Because I haven't found a good one. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, we, we, we launched, and then it was, you know, Firearms Radio Network had a bunch of shows, and one of the other shows was uh, Talking Lead with Zeke and Marty. Yep. Uh, Zeke and Left Hand uh, back then, and we actually met those guys face-to-face for the first time at the NRA show in ugh, ugh, Houston. Oh, yeah. Houston, there Houston was, is a... There you was can, something... You that, can keep Houston. But, one of the uh, shows that they went to, they helped us get video of people saying that they're students of the yeah it was, it was houston but why weren't we doing it or were they just were we double teaming we we're double teaming okay because yeah. they uh have pineapples and stuff double yeah. teaming. so uh yeah those so that the, anyways here here we are 10 years later and there's still there's not that many people who were there then that are still there now yeah. there's us and Sean and Troy, uh, and uh, there's a few others, uh, but uh, yeah. So we kind of uh, we got together at the at the Caltech booth. Marty has got a little studio down there uh, with a little talking lead lead quarters down there. And uh, if you guys know, if you, if you don't know, we've been we've been friends for well ten years now, and uh, we kind of mutually support them. They mutually support us. So uh, that was a good time. We. We just kind of free formed it. We we get together and we just talk all kinds of stupid, crazy stuff, and uh, and Zeke Zeke the big man who doesn't look so much like a Sasquatch anymore. I mean, he's big, he's but still tall. He's still tall, but yeah. he's not as he's not like the mountain like he used to be, like the mountain that rides. That's uh, right. <laughs> where did where? It was a country music bar that we went to in Houston. Remember? Where it was it had all, the bowl? 
Yeah, but that it, yeah, it had the was mechanical bull yeah. and stuff. We we were all there together. Did he do that? Did no, he ride the bull? No, 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 no. Who was putting that on? Was that a Galco was, event? Galco, yes, yes. It, it was, was. A, it was a Galco event that yeah. we went to. That was at Gillies. No, I think it was in in Houston. Here, no, it was in Houston. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Because oh, okay. we 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 shared a table with those dudes. We shared a table with those dudes. But anyway, uh, good times, old times. I've like I said, this is my. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the twenty my twenty second shot show. I think it's yeah. 13 for me, right? Yeah, you, you've you been coming since 2009. 2009. A lot, a lot has changed. You know, some is the same. Yeah, it's kind of like, a, you know, you coming at the same party over and over. Did you just yawn to nope. make me yawn? Yes, you did. You can't you prove it. Yeah. No. There is no evidence. Yeah, a lot of new faces, but some old faces, too. Yeah, we, we, got, met, a, we met a new friend on Monday. Mm-hmm. Who uh, we we do our our yearly ritual tradition yeah, that we have ritual, right? yeah, Casa before. Fuente go to Casa Fuente for a, a planning meeting to make sure that we're all on the same page for the week and then uh, we enjoy a nice mojito mint yeah. mojito a mo- a it's mojito? the best one I've ever had and you definitely pay for it but it's the best mojito I've ever had yeah, yeah it's once a year You're at Casa Fuente and uh, we have enjoy that and a nice cigar and usually if those of you that smoke cigars and have been to lounges, you know that most people there, you could just, you, you've never met a stranger at a cigar shop. At yeah, a cigar lounge. yeah, that's true. You just talk about pretty much anything. like, hey, you man, how you doing? You're like, hey. yeah. Well, there, there, there was that one time. Yeah, there was that one time, but that was uh, self-imposed. That was it. There was, there was one time. At, so who was there? It was you and I. It was me, you. And there was somebody else was with us. Somebody, there's... Uh, Somebody else was with us because, and, and we were sitting next to a dude. Yeah. That's what inspired the the scar etiquette book. Yeah, that's right. It was what inspired the scar and etiquette he, book. Like, tamped out the yeah. This so this the, dude, yeah. this this mongoloid, was apparently he was doing it for fashion or whatever. He came in and because we're we're out in the there's like a little courtyard area and uh, you sit and have your drinks and have your cigars and there was a, a gentleman Might sitting have been Mike from Cabot. Was it? I don't it know. Might have been. I can't remember. But uh, e- either way, we we were sitting at our table. There was a gentleman sitting next to us by himself at his table with his cigar ashtray, and then this other mongoloid. He li- lit a cigar, and I wasn't paying much attention to him. But I saw him stand up with the cigar and start to walk out. Well, that's no, that's a no go. You're not allowed to go out into Caesar Forum with a lit cigar. So he starts walking out, and he's he just about to walk out, and then I guess he realizes what he was doing. So he stops, turns around, walks over to the guy next to us on his table, takes his cigar, and crushes it nose down like it's a freaking Marlboro or it's like something. Half smoke cigar. Yeah, into this other guy's ashtray, <laughs> and then walks off. And we all looked <laughs> all at like, each other, and we're like, what? What the hell did we just witness? Who let that guy in here? And, and, you know, the, the guy next to us by himself at the table was dumbfounded. Like, that's just, you don't do that. And so, what happened? I said, I'm going to have to do a video on that. And then it wasn't, stop it. It Sorry. wasn't a month later that we were with our good buddy, Matt Dorito, who is also a cigar guy, in New Orleans because he, him and his band, Pop Evil, were playing. And uh, we met him before the show, and we related that story to him. And he said, of course, he's like, yeah, that, that's total bull crap. And uh, I said, well, I'm going to do a video about it. And he said, why don't you write about it? And I was like, all right, I will if you'll write the foreword to the, art, to the book. So I did. And it's a book called Cigar Etiquette for Barbarians. And it's been out for a while now. And it started, the impetus for that book started right here in Las Vegas at Casa Fuente. Yep. And the fact that they don't carry that book in stock is bull crap. Because <laughs> I mailed them one. I mailed them a book. And that guy who I mailed it to wasn't there when we went there. I don't know what happened to him. But. Yeah. He's still there. He's still the GM. Oh, is he still the GM? Yeah. Yeah, our our the guy that helped us is he was really cool. Yeah, and I, I asked him, "Well, is Jason still here?" This guy's name. 
Yeah. And he's like, yeah, he's still here. He'll be here on Thursday is when he comes back. So I want to go oh. and talk to him. Well, it's like, so so if you guys go to Casa Fuente in Las Vegas, go in and say, why don't you guys have the Cigar Etiquette for Barbarians book that was that mentions you by name specifically? Yeah. You should do that. And it, it's funny because it's been it's been two years since we've been here, or you know, three or whatever. Uh, it hasn't. We haven't been here since twenty twenty. So w- when you go in there, they're like, well, "Would you like? We'll we'll tell you how things work." They like tell you how things work, and I'm like, mm, "Pretty sure I know how things work here." We've been Unless doing this changed. for ten yeah. years. Yeah. What What was weird though, and I don't know if you guys have well, noticed that dude was new though. He just started working there. Where Where you guys are. Uh, but uh, the f- obviously Casa Fuente is Fuente cigars, and uh, they've said that they're uh, they're they're they've been having a hard time getting restocked. Yeah, they have some limits over there. It's one yeah. per person per day. Yeah. So that's, uh, but our cigar shop, the 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 Killer Bees one, the Beehive, yeah. uh, is they're fully stocked. Fully stocked. Last time I went, yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. So we talked about micro lattice bug blasters. We talked about the post office having a booth. Oh man, we talked about Keltech. Go oh, Keltech has a. For those of you who like spending more on shotgun shells than you have to, <laughs> uh, they have a four ten KSG. Why? Because they can. It's actually a super handy little compact gun and it probably doesn't move you know when you when you shoot it it probably barely moves at all uh but the truth is 410 ammo is is harder to find and more expensive now than 12 gauge so mm, i don't know i don't know and it's definitely uh harder to find and more expensive than 20 gauge yeah but for those of you out there for you 410 guys, for all of you that have a judge, if you got a Taurus judge and you want to mate a shotgun with it, <laughs> uh, check out the guys at Keltec. Yeah, check out the guys at Keltec. Keltec, who used to be an official sponsor of Student of the Gun and no longer is because I don't know why. Uh, but uh, that's when you call them up, you're like, how come you guys don't still sponsor Student of the Gun? You should yeah, do that. That's right. You should do that. What else you got to say? I because I, I think I'm pretty much yeah, out. Yeah, I was just my, looking through my pictures to see what else I my saw brain is slash, about. Uh, I don't know my, how much more braining I can do here. Zero. It's leaking out my ears at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I need to hit the gym. Yeah, no kidding. We need to do do something. I don't know, but uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's that. And we obviously it might not be obvious to you, but I'm going to tell you. We're going to be back with more. We'll be talking about more that's gone down and, and uh, good things and, you know, discussions with our friends and good people uh, at the uh, at the shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show 2023. That's right, 2023. Oh, I know what. Uh, SDS has... Uh, Talker of shotguns in multiple colors. Snow oh, yeah. white, olive drab green, and sand and desert tan. So if that's if you're but looking do they for have FDOD. Yeah, I don't know if they have FDOD. You know it's funny. I, I asked Josh. <laughs> Flat dark olive yeah, drab. When, when are you gonna come out with FDOD? And he goes, the sales guy that was with him was like, Yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was an awesome answer. <laughs> Didn't even beat around the bush. Like, yeah, we're uh, not, yeah, yeah. We're you can gonna have any color you want, as long as it's black. Yeah, as long as it's black. <laughs> yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being out there in the Student of the Gun audience. Thank you very much for listening louder and paying attention. Uh, all you guys out there who, uh, several of you uh, have come up to me, have approached me at the show and said, hey, uh, I, I, I still listen to your show. And I said, thank you. That means you and my mom both listen. I'm like nope, I'm kidding. My mom doesn't listen, but uh, thank you very much to everybody at the show. If you're listening, if you're listening to me right now, you're like, oh, he's talking about me, and that I am talking about exactly. you. Exactly. So uh, thank you very much for 
for supporting us and for uh, thanking our sponsors and making our sponsors know, making them aware of the fact that uh, uh, that you're paying attention because it really does make it a big deal. And speaking of sponsors and shows and what have you, stay tuned because in the near future, we a lot of you guys have already asked us, you're like, are you going to be in Indianapolis at the NRA? The, the tentative plan is yes. The tentative plan is yes. Unless something crazy happens here in the United States in the next couple of months, which, hey, who knows? But... <laughs> Yes, for all of those of you who've sent us messages saying, well, I can't go to ShotCo because I'm not in the industry, but are you going to go to the NRA show in Indianapolis? The answer to that is yes, we're planning on being there. And we're probably going to be doing something very special, as we, we usually do, don't we? I mean, isn't that our bag, man? When we do go to NRA, we do special things for our fans. Yeah. That's generally what we do. We try and do special things for our fans. That's very NRA, true. So. You can look forward to that, and they probably won't cancel it this year because we've, we're far enough beyond. Uh, probably. Probably. So. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, I will tell you this. Listen to me. Are you guys listening? You are? Okay, good. I'm glad you're still listening. Right now, as you're listening to this, I'm assuming that when the snow melts and the sun comes back out, you're going to want to go to training. You're going to want to engage in shooting activities, right? This, I know, I see you nodding your heads out there. The time to purchase the ammunition that you're going to want to use for training this spring and summer is now. The idea that, oh, well, I'm going to go to training in June, so a week before I go to training, I'm going to buy my ammo, that is a bad idea. Right now, the prices are down as low as they're going to be with inflation, Okay. We're, you're never going to get 19, you're, you're not going to get 19 cent, 15 cent, nine millimeter. It's not happening, but it's, it's down in the 25, four or five cent. I just got an email from a company that's selling brass cased nine mil, 20, $249 for a thousand. That's 24.9 cents a shot. Listen up kids. If you want ammo, now is the time to buy it. Oh, and by the way, we've had people that ask questions about the Igman ammo. Igman, Igman, I don't know how to say it. I-G-M-A-N. And they say, is that reliable ammo? I can tell you from experience. I have shot a few hundred rounds of the 9 millimeter and a few hundred rounds of the two two three, And I've had zero issues. Now, I know I understand that's not a lot of ammo, but it has been reliable so far. Yes. So I, I've had, and I have, we have some students that have said, I've went through thousands and thousands of rounds of this. It's awesome. Yeah. So, so yeah. Do you, you know, you guys remember what, what happened three years ago? I came back from shot. I got in front of this microphone and I said, Hey, ammo is as cheap as it's going to be. I don't mortgage your house, but if you need ammo, buy it. And within six months, it was doubled. The price had doubled. So, do what you want, live your life the however you want to live it. But I'm telling you right now, if you're planning on shooting this spring, this summer, in the near future, the time for you to stock up and get your ammunition is now. All right? That's just a that's just a helpful hint from your Uncle Paul. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, love you guys. Glad you I'm glad that you're out there. Remember, you're a beginner once. You're a student for life. Thanks for staying until the end. Want to water the seeds of freedom we planted together today? Head over to wherever you listen to us and leave a like, rating, or review. It makes a big difference. Have a show topic submission? We would love to hear it. Submit it to info at studentofthegun.com. A delightful human will get back to you faster than you could finish a one-box workout. Remember to check studentofthegun.com often for new and free content, giveaways, and more. Watch, listen, read, shop, and connect at studentofthegun.com. And remember, you are a beginner once, a student for life.